really remarkable the numbers we're seeing. We are now higher than it was pre-pandemic. So the travel industry is booming. Right now at five, the holiday rush is officially underway. Good evening to you. I'm Rick Van Hoos. And I'm Jennifer Bales. Millions of Americans are already on the road or in the sky traveling to their destination ahead of the Thanksgiving holiday. WLKY's Andrea Turner joins us now live uh, tonight with a look at the travelers and what they can expect this year. Andrea. Hi, Rick. Well, if you are driving, you are expected to see a bunch of cars on the road, a record amount of people who are traveling by car this year. And if you were in air, of course, you're going to have to be a little bit patient when you go through those security lines. But either way, the folks that I talk to, they're just excited to be with their family this holiday season. We're thankful for our health. Definitely the health and safety of my family. Holiday spirit is in full swing, and according to AAA, an estimated 80 million people are expected to travel this year for Thanksgiving. Altogether, the trip is a little over 14 hours. A new record of 71 million of those folks will be hitting the road, including Clarence Reed, who's going home to Alabama. It's a lot cheaper to drive than it is to fly. You fly out of Mobile. It's right at $900 a person. According to AAA, gas prices are down 20 cents compared to this time last year. That's definitely going to help Shauna Ollery, who's traveling from Ohio to Arkansas. It works. It, with that far to travel, with that little gas mileage, it works. While some are braving traffic, others are choosing convenience of flying in order to spend more time with their family. It's nice that we can um, take a flight instead of driving because we have most of the time we've driven from Louisville to uh, Orlando. We also like to have an extra day with our family when we go. Natalie Shadowin at the Muhammad Ali International Airport says Tuesday through Sunday are peak travel times for Thanksgiving. We're looking at more than 44,400 outbound seats. During that period, the busiest day for departures will be tomorrow, Wednesday. She says they're down slightly compared to last year, but nearly every month this year has been record setting. Even though we're down um, year over year, we do anticipate that this will be a very busy few days for us. So whether by plane or car, one thing is clear, a record number of families are reconnecting this Thanksgiving. It is the highest number we've ever seen. We are now higher than it was pre-pandemic. And you guys, of course, if you're traveling by air or by car, they have some tips for you to try to make your travel days as smoothly as possible, whether it's by plane or by car. Try to get there early. Try to get on the road early. Get through the security lines a little bit early so you can relax. If you're traveling by car, make sure that your car, its maintenance is up to date and you have an emergency kit with you. And if you're traveling by air, make sure you have your airlines apps to keep up with your flight just in case they're delayed. And Everyone today, they set the line of pack your patience, but just in case there is a delay in your flight or there are car crashes on the road, my suggestion is to also pack yourself some snacks so you can have just a great time before you get your tummies full for Thanksgiving. For now in Louisville, DeAndrea Turner, WLKY News.